Welcome to today's podcast. It's episode 12, guys. I'm so excited that you guys are continuing to tune in to the Taranik Show. And I hope that what is being shared here is very helpful to you. And I hope that you would like, subscribe, and follow us. We are The Turning Show on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. So thank you for joining. Please like, follow, share, subscribe. Today's topic is help. Nothing works on my 4C here. If I was to choose which question or which hair type we get the most emails or Facebook and Instagram messages about, it would be 4C hair. We have a lot of women asking us, help, nothing seems to curl my 4C hair, my 4C hair is dry, can you please help me take care of my hair and help my curls to look like this picture I saw or this person or I have 4Z hair, my hair is so, coily that nothing can work on it. So I'm here to tell you how you can manage your type four hair, whether you're a type four A or a type four Z. <laughs> but seriously, the typing system, I am I am over it. I know we use it to identify, you know, our hair types or whatnot, but I am over the typing system, can we just say, I have wavy, curly, coily, kinky, coily. I, I don't like that whole number and letter thing, but hey, I didn't design the system. So this is what's working for everyone. So let's just like move on with it. So the thing about four, type four hair. So I have type four hair and I have absolutely no problems curling my hair. So right now I have, this is kind of like a, twi this is a twist out. And how I curl my hair is I use our tropical curl enhancing foam. Well, with the leave-in conditioner. So I use a leave-in conditioner and I use a foam. If I use a foam by itself, I get curl definition. If I use a curl defining cream, same thing, or a gel. I always get curl definition no matter what product I use or combination of products. So the key to getting definition with type four hair is the foundation of your wash day. How are you starting off your wash day? Because type four hair tends to be drier than most hair textures, and we've talked about this before, straight hair is more moisturized because the natural sebum that our scalp produces, what happens is because the hair is straight, it's able to moisturize the strand better because it is able to move down the strand as your scalp produces moisture or sebum. With curly hair or the curlier, the kinkier, the coilier the hair gets, it is harder for that moisture to move from the scalp down the hair strands because it has all of these little spirals, kinks, and waves that it has to travel down to. So that's essentially why you will see that the curlier the hair or the coilier or kinkier the hair, the drier the hair is. With that said, the foundation on which you start your hair care routine must be a shampoo. I know that most Type four girls do not like shampoo. They prefer curl wash because they feel, oh my goodness, my hair is so dry. Um, I need to co wash. Shampoo will just dry out my hair. That is a myth. The right shampoo will not dry out your hair. I encourage you to incorporate a moisturizing shampoo into your routine. What a moisturizing shampoo does is it cleans the hair because it has cleansing agents in it but it also does not strip the hair of its moisture. But you need a shampoo because you need to remove all of the dirt, oil, um, product buildup off of the scalp and the hair strand. Once you've removed the product buildup off of your hair strand, 
the hair will be more elastic. When it's more elastic, what happens is it can curl better, it will absorb product better, and it will be less dry, well, dehydrated. So your foundation is get a moisturizing shampoo. Secondly, because your hair tends to be drier or dehydrated, because dry hair is really hair that has been damaged from chemicals. I know we like to use the word dry and dehydrated interchangeably, and even I'm guilty of it, but dry hair is totally different from dehydrated hair. Dehydrated hair is hair that lacks moisture, which is water. Dry hair is hair that has been damaged from chemicals, from heat, and dyes. So that's dry hair, dehydrated. So after you've shampooed your hair, what you wanna do is use a moisturizing, deep conditioning treatment to hydrate your hair strands. What the moisturizing deep treatment is designed to do is to exactly what it says, put moisture back into the hair. Water is the number one moisturizer for hair. So what the moisturizing treatment will do is put, Put the moisture back into the hair and you want to look for a deep treatment that has water as the number one, the first ingredient on this ingredient statement. Once you've done your deep conditioning treatment and you want to do this on freshly washed hair. So after you shampooed, you apply the deep condition, conditioner. You can leave it on for about 20 minutes. If you want to use a, uh, a heat, like heat, a dryer, sorry, a heated dryer, you can do that so that it penetrates faster. But if you don't want to use heat at all, that's perfectly fine. Leave it on for 20 minutes, it will do its job. Then you want to rinse out the moisturizing treatment with cool water, warm water, whatever you want to, want to use. At this point, we have seen that in terms of shine, the temperature of water does not matter. But if you want to seal the cuticles, then you would use cool water. So you wanna use cool water to seal the cuticle from the moisturizing deep treatment. After you've done that, then you wanna section your hair out. This is key to, sorry, I'm so sorry. That's our alarm clock going off. Anyway, so many interruptions. Yesterday we were interrupted, today we're interrupted. It's life. So anyway. After you've done your moisturizing deep treatment, you want to then section your hair out into maybe four sections, depending on the thickness of your hair or the length of your hair. Section it out into four sections. Once you've sectioned your hair out, this is gonna be key in getting you definition. So let's say, for example, we're doing a wash and go. We're gonna section our hair in four sections. Apply the leave-in conditioner to each section and detangle that section. A good leave-in conditioner has water as the number one ingredient, the first ingredient on its ingredient statement. So you use your leave-in conditioner and you detang completely detangle. The key to definition is having completely detangled hair. I cannot stress that enough. How you detangle your hair matters. So you wanna start from the ends of the hair and you wanna to move to the root. This is so you don't, you, you like lessen your chances of breakage and shedding by detangling from the bottom up. So the bottom of the hair, so the root all the way up. You're gonna use a detangling brush. We have a great detangling brush. If you're looking for a detangling brush, or a wide to comb, uh, your fingers, it depends. If your hair is really kinky, coily, then your fingers will not do the job. So you wanna use a detangling brush. So you, you're detangling from the ends to the root. Completely detangle your hair. Leave, leave no strand tangled. This is key to definition with type four, type four C, or Z or whatever you want to call it here. After you've detangled, then you want to apply an oil blend to seal in the moisture. So you're going to apply your oil blend to each section. And this is for sealing. So your hair doesn't get dry during the, you know, 
after a couple of days, it doesn't look dry, it still looks shiny. I would then recommend styling your hair in sections. Do not just take the product and like put it all over the head. You want to take a smaller section out of one of those four sections and then can and style the hair. If you're doing a wash and go, you know, you want to, especially if you're doing a wash and go, style the hair at the sections. Twist outs, of course you're gonna section it anyway. After you have detangled and you've used your leave-in conditioner, I would suggest using a gel and a foam. If you are a person that has issues with definition and you you just your hair is not coming out right, the best foolproof way to get curls is the gel foam method. What you'll do is you'll get a gel, a lightweight gel um, or a medium hold gel. We have a great one. It's the Jelly Coconut Styling Gel. And then you wanna get a foam, a foam that is not greasy or sticky. We have a great foam, our Tropical Curl Enhancing Foam. So you wanna get two products, a gel and a foam. Now, if you do not like gels, what you can do is use a curl defining cream and a foam. Now the differences between the gel and the foam is the gel will give you um, more like more definition and more hold. If you're gonna use a curl defining cream with the foam, it's gonna give you a softer hold. It will give you definition, but it will give you a softer hold. So it depends on what you're looking for. Why I recommend using gel and foam and gel and curl cream is because your hair will not flake. It won't be hard, it won't be crunchy, it won't flake if you use it like this. Sometimes if you're gonna use a gel and a curl cream because it's gel and then butters, that is a recipe for disaster. Especially if you're not using the gel and the curl cream from the same brand or the same product line, then those are not gonna mix well together. Okay, so if you want a medium stronger hole, you're gonna use a gel and a foam. If you want a softer, bouncier hole, you're gonna use a curl defining cream and a foam. All right, so let's start our defining process. We've sectioned our hair, we've detangled it, and we have moisturized it with a leave-in conditioner. Now we're going to apply the gel to the section up here. If we're doing a wash and go, you wanna apply the gel first and then apply the foam over the gel. When you're done with that small section, you are going to leave that section and do not touch it until it dries. That is key. If you keep going over the hair and going over the hair, you're gonna create frizz. So section that part out, put the gel on, watch the curls form, because curls will form, then apply the foam, and you will see the curls form and leave it. Do not touch it. You wanna repeat this all over your hair until you're done, and then you leave your hair and let it air dry. You will be guaranteed to get curl definition. Please write me in the comments if you did not get curl definition from these simple steps because these are guaranteed. If you want a softer hold and you're using the curl defining cream with the foam, the same process, you would section the hair and then apply the curl defining cream from root to tip. Now, because your hair is detangled, you should have no issues with seeing curl definition once you apply, evenly, evenly distribute the cream over the hair. So you don't wanna just put it to the root, you wanna evenly distribute it until you see curls or until you see a curl pattern. And then after you see a curl pattern, then you wanna put on the foam, right? These are like simple, simple, simple steps. Again, leave that section, let it dry, do not touch it, do not disturb it, and then finish the entire head. That's how you do a wash and go on 4C hair or type 4 hair for curl definition. After your hair is dried, you will see curl definition. Let's manage expectations. 
You are not gonna see type three wash and go curls because that is not your curl type. You are gonna see your natural curl pattern, whatever that looks like. Not the curl pattern that we fantasize about in our head or we've seen on Instagram or we've seen on YouTube. You are going to see your natural curl pattern. For type four hair, if you want to see a a more defined curl pattern, instead of doing a wash and go, I recommend repeating these exact same steps, but doing a twist out. The twist out will come out very nice if you have a good twist out technique. What a good twist out technique consists of is when you take your two strands of hair that you're going to twist, when you twist those from after you've applied your gel and you applied your foam, when you're twisting, you twist tightly and not loosely. So you want to twist tight and not loose and you do not want to borrow strands from any of the sections. So if you start with one section one and section two, you're twisting both sections all the way to the end, not borrowing any strands from the section one or section two. That is a pro tip for twist outs. When you have twisted your hair all the way to the end, you can take a little bit of gel and curl the end with your fingers. Another thing, you can also get small perm rods and put them, wrap them around the ends so you can get that defined curl definition look. Also, what the perm rods will do is provide some weight to the hair so it's a bit stretched when it dries. If you want to get a nicer, uh, elongated kind of look, twist your hair just like I mentioned before, and then you can get flexi rods. Depending on how big you want your curls to be, the flexi rods come in all sizes. They come in like the straw size, the jumbo size, the medium size. I recommend the medium size. I like how the medium size looks, so I would wear that. And you can, after you twisted your hair, roll the flexi rod onto that section. And what the flexi rod will do is it will stretch the hair, but it will also give you curl definition. This is a foolproof way to get curl definition with type four hair. Listen, you will not be disappointed at all with this method that I'm telling you about. Listen, this is a foolproof way. Once you start with freshly washed hair, you use a moisturizing deep conditioner to moisturize the hair, you use a leave-in conditioner, and you section your hair out and detangle each section. Detangling is key to definition. Then you want to seal in the moisture with an oil blend. After you've sealed in the moisture with an oil blend, then you apply these two stylers, medium hole, gel, and foam, or a softer hole, gel, not gel, sorry, curl defining cream and foam. That is a sure fire way to get curl definition for tight four hair. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope that this was informative to you and please let me know how your hair comes out when you decide to use this method. Please like, subscribe, follow. We're on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, The Taranique Show, uh, all, of, all of these, um, the names I've called out. Please follow us and like and subscribe. Thank you and I hope you enjoy your day.